The purpose of this whole product and installing this uh, fogging kit is to prevent rust and corrosion from inside your engine. Rust and corrosion is the number one killer of Rotax two-stroke engines on aircraft. So let's do everything we can do to prevent the rust and corrosion. So we have our harness here and we found an empty spot in the rear firewall. So I'm inserting it inside the air. Okay, so we're gonna hook up the PTO carburetor. We've already taken the cap off. I'm using some needle nose pliers. So we can get there and we're gonna put the hose on. So that completes the installation on the rear carburetor. The front carburetor is done exactly the same way. All right, the last thing we're gonna do to finish up our installation on this side of the firewall on the engine is we'll just secure the hose with a tie strap to whatever we have handy and we would of course cut the end off of that. Okay, so we'll check our installation. We're through the firewall. We're secured up here. We come to our T-joint and we're on the front carburetor and we're routed nicely in behind the front carburetor to the rear carburetor and we, our connection is good there. Okay, here we are on the inside behind the rear seat on a Challenger. We had some extra, extra line here. We're just gonna put it in the back uh, out of the way or if you want, you can trim it to your length depending upon what aircraft you put it on. We're gonna support this here and then we're gonna insert the, it in the hose, push it on all the way and there we go. Now we're hooked up. So the next thing we're gonna do is secure the bottle in. We're gonna position it so that we can see through the bottle at our gradations here, and we're gonna tie strap it onto the tube. All right, so I've run the tie straps around the bottle. It's resting on this tube here. I brought them off to the side where they'll be in a little nicer spot. I'm gonna pull them a little bit. I'm not gonna crush the bottle, but I do wanna make sure the bottle is secured on tightly. There we go, like that. The other thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that we rotated this around so the valve is on the very back so that we can't accidentally brush it. It's in the closed position right now. The open position would be when it's in line down like that. Okay, next thing we want to do now is we want to fill the bottle to the appropriate level. I would suggest putting 100 cc's in it. So we've got our straw on our can. We're going to insert it in either one of the holes on top of the bottle and simply spray. Okay, so I'm still filling the bottle. I'm holding it, the can spraying in here, and you can see that there's a lot of fizz in there from the propellant from the fogging solution. As long as it's not coming out the whole other hole on the top, don't worry about it. And then we're just gonna let it settle, and all the uh, propellant is gonna come out of it, and all that's gonna remain in there is the fogging solution, and that's what we want. Okay, we finished filling up the bottle. Obviously, you can see it's a little over 100 cc's. So spraying it in is not an exact science, but uh, if I use my imagination, I can say that's 110 cc's. So you're just gonna use the graduations on there and do 10 cc's. Okay, and okay, this installation on the Challenger, we've put it over here on this bar uh, for demonstration purposes. If it may be in, be, uh, in the way at all on your aircraft, then you could always mount it right onto this tube right here it just means you have to reach in a little further to turn it on. It's whatever your individual case may be, where you want to mount it. Okay, so here we go. We uh, had it mounted down here before. Maybe we weren't, weren't happy with that. You can mount it up here now. So uh, you can reach it from in the side here. So the options are limitless where you want to put this. Uh, just make sure that it's somewhere where it's not going to get banged by passengers and, and uh, you can operate it easily. Hi, it's John Baker again from Rotac Repair. Today I'd like to show you how we're actually gonna operate the fogging system. So obviously we're not gonna have the engine running right now because you wouldn't be able to hear me. So typically I've come back from my flight, I've secured the airplane so it's not gonna run away. And all I'll be doing is I'll open the upholstery there and I'll turn the valve and I'll let it run for, I have my watch, I'm gonna let it run for three minutes. If I want to, I can look in the bottle, but uh, I know three minutes does a great job on it. Uh, if it's really hot, two minutes in the summertime, obviously the fluid, the fogging fluid is a lot more viscous in the wintertime. So three minutes works good in the winter, and really two in the summertime. Okay, so next I'm gonna open this all up so you can really see a lot better. Let's open up the rear seat area here. So, okay, so here we are, our bottle is, uh, is in place. It has fluid in it, it's at the 100 milliliter mark. 
obviously okay again the engine's running at idle 2000 2100 rpm the uh, plane secured so it won't go anywhere and on the valve here when it's sideways that's when it blocks the line so it's closed when i turn it so it's in line with the line that's when it's in the open position i just opened it the engine's idling again i'm going to refer to my watch it's winter time now i'm going to go for three minutes at the end of three minutes I'm going to reach up, turn the ignition off, and then I'm going to close the valve, which puts it at 90 degrees to the line, which signifies that it's off. And then, of course, we'll put all the upholstery back in this. Just wanted to take that out to show you. But basically, you can just reach in behind. You'll feel the valve. You can turn the valve. Use your watch. Time it out. Shut the engine off. Close the valve. And you're done far better than doing absolutely nothing to fog the engine because nobody wants to stand beside the moving propeller. We just actually ran this airplane and did the whole fogging procedure on it. We were going to shoot for the three minutes on our watch, like I suggested. This one is a little bit faster. It was starting to actually show some smoke from the exhaust and uh, it was getting down on the uh, fluid down a uh, hundred, uh, I'm sorry, 10 milliliters uh, in about two minutes. So, you know, the time is going to vary depending upon the temperature. Um, I found with mine when it was 25 below, it took a full three minutes. Uh, it's just about freezing today, so uh, the time was around two minutes. And uh, we saw visible smoke from the exhaust, so we turned, it, turned the engine off and closed up the bottle when we saw the smoke from the exhaust. Okay, in case you uh, forget the uh, written instructions, uh, the instructions are provided there in point form.